Hey guys, I'm Jinx, and I'm probably about to die. Welcome back to Jedi Fallen Order. Jedi. Cannot block forever. Pain won't stop me. I'll catch you. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Cannot win. Oh my god. See her. I just took down a trooper wearing black and red armor. The same type from Braca. A purge trooper. Their only Ooh. purpose is to hunt Jedi. Are the Inquisitors coming? It's possible, but we're far from Braca. They might think purge troopers are enough. Or they could be stalling you on purpose. Stay wary. Ooh. Alright, that went that went better than expected, but that was also not a close quarter combat uh purge trooper. Kind of have a feeling we're going to have more trouble in the future. I can't get to that force echo. Yet. But I will. I will get every single customizable and maybe every force echo in this playthrough. God damn it. We can't interact with that yet. Because, you know, not my first time. But I do want to collect all of this. But, oh shit. I think this might be leading to a completely new area. Yep. Oh, I remember this. Okay, let me meditate. Let me meditate, get my chi straight. Just really, really focus up. God damn, I hit my controller on the, uh, <laughs> on my desk. Let me see, what other... We could increase our force amount. You know what? Let's do that. Why not? Maximum force. I know that those aren't the upgrades I mentioned like two episodes ago when I talked about what I wanted next. But now we have more force. It doesn't actually show me how much. You see the Star Destroyer? It's a Venator. There could be useful intel inside. I'll try to find a way to it. There's so many of these things. And I didn't get to fucking scan them last time. God damn it. I don't know how to fight those guys. Venator class, Star Destroyer. I can swim boost? Huh. So I can sprint. Hey, Grease, you busy? Well, I was trying to watch the, you know, the... No, I'm not busy, never busy. <laughs> so, uh, you need something? I'm standing next to two crashed ships. Looks like you weren't the only pilot who had trouble with the wind here. Whoa, 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 you're just realizing that? Where have you been? I mean, it doesn't get better than me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All I wanted to say was thanks. Uh, you know, you're, uh... You're, you're welcome, kid, but... Uh, I, you know, I gotta go. I, I gotta think, so gotta... See ya. <laughs> Alright, man. Alright, Chris. Is this... No, I, I don't know what kind of starship this is. I'm not, I'm not... I don't know that many details about Star Wars. At least not minute details like that. Can we... What's this? Oh, do we need to power these things? I think we do. So this is, yeah, it looks like a generator that we have to power. I, I don't think... Okay, well, destroying it is not powering it. Gotcha. In that case, let's go. All right, let me fight this guy again. Wait, yeah, I, I knew I remembered something. <laughs> It's your turn. Whoa! God damn it! It's not your turn, apparently. Just want to focus on this guy. God damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Give me a stim. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, that would have been death right there. Oh, I toss it. I'm not gonna die to rats! Oh boy. 
Why can't you damage? Okay, you can. Where do you keep coming from? Fight you guys. BD1, 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 okay. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it! I need help! Scan it, 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 scan it. Oh, thank you. Whew. God. Joe Taz. Joe Taz. Strong but slow, strike after do dodging any attack. Rapid strikes and or unconventional attacks will enrage and confuse the creature. The Jotas is a formidable and highly aggressive predator that utilizes brute strength to establish supremacy. A thick hide provides armor-like defense support, defensive support, but vulnerabilities may exist along the abdomen region where the skin is thinnest. What this creature lacks in speed is supplemented by forceful blows and an impressive reach for long firearms. Uh, forearms, not firearms, goddamn. Yeah, dude, thing had more reach than I would have expected. I love how they just sit down. It's so fucking cute. Look at him shaking his head in disappointment that he lost the fight. Aww, little one. I'm so sorry. Okay. We can't maim his body. God, that was that's all our health gone though, you know? And there were, I already saw fucking like 50 million pijack further down the way. So, that's totally not gonna kill me. First death, then. I haven't died yet, but I, I do feel it coming. Yeah, that looks like the way forward. Look at them. I am so gonna die. Alright. see if we can fight them. There's also loot there, which I want. So, this is high risk, high reward. Let's go. Yeah. Help me! Okay, well, that's one. And that's two. God damn, I can hear a droid somewhere. Alright, no more health. No more health left at all. Cool, 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 cool. Gotta slice this. Eh, PD1 can open it. Nice. Thank you. Hey now. You're an all-star. Get your game on. Was Go there. loot. New BD1 skin acquired. Swoop. <laughs> what a name. Aw, look at him. Little swoop. Little orange blue swoop. <laughs> uh alright, let's let's not get that yet. Let's see what was this? Oh god damn. Black and white. Uh no, but I like You know what? Let's actually go for your original because I like I like you being red. Whoa, lag! What the fuck? Did it? Whoa! What the fuck? Hold on! What the fuck's going on? It's fine here, but when I was back, okay, now it's fine. What the hell? It was almost like slow motion for a sec because of the lag. Do I want to fight you? I really don't. But I don't have another choice, do I? Alright. I mean, I do have another choice, but I want to loot, so I kind of don't have another choice. Oh, I don't think I can make it up here anyway. Oh, I can! Whew! Alright, bye! <laughs> I don't think I can make that jump, though. We can try it. Oh! Thank you, Cal! You're the best! We can get the loot. It's all I wanted. I don't give a shit about my life. All I care about is loot. Oh, all right then. What do we find? Dude, dude didn't even notice we were here. New poncho material, hyper shell. Ooh, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm gonna stick with white for now. But that looks cool. Oh shit. Hey, buddy. I don't think I can survive a fight against him. One hit and I'm dead. Literally. With any luck, I might survive with one HP. Let me just move. <laughs> Bye! But he just does not care. Alright. I'll take it. 
Let me see. This looks like another generator. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, no. Just look at him. All right. Fine. Okay. You survived a bit more than one hit. Oh my god. Dodge! Woo! Freezy Gimp just did not fucking work. Aw, oh, look at him shake his head in disappointment. Okay. I predicted it. <laughs> we survived with one HP. Great. Now let's continue this way and explore and see what's there. Hopefully a place to save. We can also climb into the... What was it? Venator class, right? We can also climb in there, but I don't want to do that yet. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, god damn it. I thought you were a safe point. God damn it. These aren't Stormtrooper helmets. The villagers built this memorial to the clones on the Venator. If only they knew the truth. Aww. A memorial to the fallen clones of the Venator, constructed by the villagers. The galaxy believes the Jedi were traitors. Only a few know the truth. Yeah, that's so crazy to me that fucking... See him? Empire isn't the only thing we have to worry about. I'm gonna die down there. Um... It's so crazy that... You know, like fucking the Empire's plan, you know, Darth City is just... He just fucking did it. You know, the Emperor just... His plan fucking worked. People do believe the Jedi are traitors and everything. That's crazy to me. I wanna go slow, because I'm gonna die. A rat's gonna jump out of nowhere and just fucking destroy my asshole. Do you have a... Is your head missing? This tunnel flooded suddenly. What could have caused such a thing? Round. A sudden disaster struck, killing the creatures in the in this tunnel with a massive flood. Could the sudden disaster be maybe the Venator crashing? Oh my god, my shadow just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> just appeared out of nowhere. Dude, I... God damn, like, we can still climb into the Venator. It smells like old oil. Oh, whoops. Sorry, buddy, not you. It's this water. Huh. This door's not budging. Oh, thank fucking god damn. Woo, haven't died yet. Maybe we can do zero deaths. <laughs> you know, that might have been a possibility had I not said that. But honestly, now I'm remembering all kinds of fights that are going to come at us in the future. I don't think we can do zero deaths. You're a stormtrooper, aren't you? Not a clone. He was killed by a cave-in. Imperial excavation is making these tunnels unstable. Mm. The remains of a, of a stormtrooper killed when the tunnel collapsed due to Imperial excavation. Dude, you think people would fucking resist being, you know, becoming stormtroopers? There are so many stormtroopers that just die. Zepho ice caves. Oh god, I remember. Hmm. Excavation equipment. Imperial excavation equipment. The level of dust suggests it's been sitting here a long time. Okay, I mean, fine. It is true, like, a bunch of the, like, Imperial soldiers we face and all that don't want to be Imperials, but others do. It's just, like, in the eyes of the Empire, you're so expendable. It, it's not even funny anymore. Whoa, shit. Okay, well, well, let's not fall down there. Oh, thank God, I'm a pro skater. Oh, man. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay, you're hijacked. Hijacked. God fucking damn it. 
I got no more force left. Uh, let me let me fight you. Come on. Let's go, big boy. Oh my god, I almost fell down. Alright. Now get a bit of force back at least. Uh, oh my god, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Bunch of spinning platforms and everything. Uh, this is another sl another slide, not the one we just did. Can't interact with that. Okay. Well, let's keep on exploring. Jesus Christ, Zepho really is the biggest planet, isn't it? Oh, that shit. Those cracks in the ice do not look. They don't look inviting. Uh, anything to do here? Seer, whoa. I'm under an Imperial dig site. They got a lot further than we thought. We can't worry about that now. The Empire's identified you as the Jedi from Bracca. They're searching for the Mantis as we speak. Can't you move the Mantis? It's too risky to start the engine. Its power discharge will draw their attention immediately. I'll be back as fast as I can. Well, I mean, I, I will do some more exploring, but that's good to know. Once we leave, they're gonna be on to us. All right. Jesus Christ, this is a long elevator. See, BD ones. Getting bored as well. Just chimmy shamming his head around. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, are we? Oh, no. Oh, what the? Where the fuck? Alright, I don't know where we are, but let's meditate. Uh, do I want to rest? Nah. Or maybe. We'll see. Let me level first. What do we want? Mass push. Holding push. Uh, allows Cal to push groups of enemies and stagger large enemies. Holding slow allows Cal to slow his target for longer. Increase the distance that we can travel. Oh yeah, I forgot about the dash. See, I forgot about it. I knew I would. Airborne attack, blah blah blah, that's a kick. Waiting longer to press attack after Cal swings the lightsaber allowing to perform a special attack with increased range. That's right. Uh, maybe for now... Agile detection. Oh, no, let's let's increase our maximum life. Get, get a bit more survivability going. Nice. There's a, just a teeny bit more. Let's rest as well. Why not? Decided I want to do it. What the? Oh, wait. I think I know where we are. This is right. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll look. What you find? Oh, that's a... What'd you find? Scout Trooper Baton. <clears throat> Imperial Electro Baton given to troopers stationed to in, in remote areas <clears throat> where unexpected threats may arise. These weapons were crafted from the same components as Clone Wars era Electro Staffs, but have updated Imperial modifications. Cool. So, we're not gonna go there just yet. Because I want to do some more exploring. Oh, wait! Oh, luckily I didn't press that. Holy shit. Because, you know, we can slide down here. So let's do that. Okay, well, I fucked that one up. Mm, mm. So those don't count as deaths because we just lose health, but respawn. There we go. Music's so cool in this game, man. Up there! Up there! Ooh. Okay, you can fight that. It uses so much force to do that. What? Hey, BD1. Just checking on you. I do. Can you climb up here? He might need to heal up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, we called the elevator because I interacted with it. Gotcha. <clears throat> it just appeared out of nowhere, dude. Alright. Okay. Ooh, this looks... Interesting. But luckily we're parkour master. 
Come on. Alright. Getting better and better. Slow and steady wins the fight. Am I right? Oh boy. Alright. So much anxiety every time because I don't know where I'm going. Whew. No fucking idea where we're headed, but oh my god. You and him. We've got this. Here, the Jedi. Right. Stay on you. Waste of our time. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Stim! Oh! I did it! Oh my god! I fucked him up! No, no, scan him first. Oh, it's okay. Oh, we're standing on his dead body. Oh my god. Hold on. Excavation saw. Uh, these excavation saws were specially designed to cut through planetary bedrock, giving the Empire access to secrets thousands of kilometers below the surface. Fucking another perch trooper. God, that, the fact that we killed him. I mean, yeah, he, he did fuck us up as well, but I mean... We're not face first in the dirt, you know? Unconscious, because this is a kid-friendly game. Tactical guide, Empire. Here we go. Oh yeah, Electro Baton Purge Trooper. Armed with Electro Batons, they may attack in flurries of quick strikes, but vulnerable after finishing the initial attack. An agile and shifty uh, counter-attacker able to dodge and parry incoming attacks. Yeah, so we really need to let him come to us, which luckily we did. The menacing Purge Trooper serves the Galactic Empire's Inquisition pro Inquis Inquisitorious program to hunt down survivors of the treasonous Jedi Order. A specialized class of Imperial soldier trained and equipped with a variety of weapons and tactics, this elite group is few in number and keeps out of the public eye. Most citizens of the Empire are unaware they even exist. Of the Purge Trooper ranks, many are trained in melee combat using an Electro Baton, proving an agile and deadly nemesis. And Purge Trooper Commander. Dangerous from a distance, make attempts to close distance quickly. Avoid shock grenade or use it to strike nearby stormtroopers. Agents of the Inquisitorious Purge Troopers are charged by the Empire to hunt down survivors of the treasonous Jedi Order. Operating in the shadows, their clandestine mandate is largely unknown, even among Imperial ranks, as they support Inquisitors across the galaxy. This specialized class is trained and equipped with a variety of weapons and tactics, but primarily attack with blasters and shock grenades. That they do. Hentai too. Come back here. Whew. Let's see what kind of rewards this got us. What do we find? Baby one skin best best time. Ooh, well don't you match our little light blue thing? Oh, that's cute. But let's let's stay with the original for now. New mantis skin, new poncho material, new lightsaber material. Uh Cerakote? I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm sure it looks okay. <laughs> That's an excellent find. It will need my personal evaluation. Hmm. Finding artifacts. The tool dropped in excitement over a mysterious find by a worker during the excavation. It appears they found what they were looking for. Well, that's not good news at all. Shortcut? Ah! Uh, wait, where are we? Oh, what the, wait, what the fuck? Okay, let's, uh... Well, let me save and rest. Oh, that, that is, that did not look good. Something, alright, you know what? You know what? Before I step under that ice, alright, let's rest. Get some rest and relaxation. Let's go to our skill tree. Take our time. Relax. 
make it so stims heal more. Stim potency increased. Let me see, how much does it heal? Can I actually... No, I can't do that, okay. Have stims heal more. Relax, deep breaths, walk away. And, and see where this takes us, because... I think this leaps around... Oh! <laughs> PD1 almost fell off! Ah, oh, cute little one. Um, I think this wraps around to the, uh... You know, to the area in front of the Zephyr Temple. You know, ju just outside of it. Oh, that sounds like shuttles. So let's see where exactly this takes us. You know, because the more exploring we do now, the less we have to do later. And I kinda, I do, you know... I do want to get like all the collectibles I can, like all the all the terrarium seeds, all the uh, also all the lightsaber materials. You know, I want to be get all the customizables I can as early as I can. So I like looking around. Okay, bit of loot, bit of loot. Well, an echo, but you know. What is this? Continue excavating. I want rare artifacts, not useless trinkets. Ice cave excavations. Broken pot smashed by the officer in charge of Project Augur. She was angry that they weren't finding what she wanted. Well, I mean, afterwards they did. Yeah, exactly. And this just wraps around uh, back here. That's so cool. I mean, we, we still have like a bunch of stuff in the Zephyr Temple and all that that we have to yet access, but... That we yet have to access, but that's okay. Uh, let's slide back down instead of using the elevator because we're cool like that. Let's not die tragically, horribly by falling down a hole. There we go. Oh, fucking drift, Cal! Hell yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Such a cool way down. Oh my god. Whew. Almost fucked up the end there, but we made it. Um. Okay, let me look at my map. We're in the ice caves now. There is something to interact with there, and there is a, a thing here, but we already used that elevator, I think. Oh my god. Okay. Um. No, we used this elevator. We didn't use that one yet. We can. There's something unexplored. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, whatever. Um. I believe we might have something a bit bigger on our hands now. Perfect timing for the ice to crack. But let me sit down again, let me rest again even though we don't need to. <laughs> and uh... Okay, game saved. Let's see, this totally isn't gonna do something. Well, it's not what I expected. Come on. Oh my god! Oh, we fucked him up! Oh shit. Okay, well, so far so good. What can you scan? No, 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 no! What can you scan? Oh, here. <laughs> oh, you can scan the eyes. The sounds of destruction. The MK270 Imperial Pulverizers are crucial for Project Augur, as the icy barriers in Zephyr's cave systems require an incredible amount of power to break through. Even the Empire's specialized saws are not sufficient to break through this ice on their own. Well, I totally expected something to break through. Holy shit, what a, what a subversion. Uh, where'd you come from from here? Let me, let me, let me uh, activate this shortcut first. There we go. Okay. Yeah, still more to explore. Let me... Ah, oh, let me get that first. Did not fucking expect something to break through the side, but hey! We, we managed to kill one of those things hitless. That's cool. So yeah, with those guys, you just want to be aggressive. Just keep dodging when they attack and, and throw light attacks. If you want to be fancy, you can slow them and everything. But don't really need to. An Imperial officer was trying to hide a relic down here. There was a cave in. She became trapped and never escaped. Oh god, that's a skull. Officer Crane. 
The remains of an Imperial officer who attempted to hide her relic in the cave. During the during a collapse, she was trapped and died. God. I, I still, this isn't making me nervous. Um. Ooh, can I go this way? No way. I can't make that jump. There's something back there, though, to loot. So that's, uh. Yeah, see, it even tells me I can't make this yet. Uh, I can't get across there yet. That's almost, like, that's very difficult to see when just looking around like this. I'm sure you, I mean, I can still see it if I'm looking at it. But I'm sure for YouTube it's really difficult to see that. Anyway. What the fuck? Dude, you're making me nervous. Either break through or don't. Oh, holy shit. Make a decision. Oh, what the? I didn't mean to jump at that. Okay. Let's see if I'll die to rats. Oh my god, I tried to dodge you. Ah, whatever, it's fine. Is that part of a starship, or...? Oh my god, fucking jump! He's above us! <laughs> I got this. Maybe. <laughs> I love the stormtroopers, man. Fucking, you have to love stormtroopers. They're so hey. nice. They're so amazing. <laughs> They're not nice, but goddamn. Now I mean, let's see material. Arc Architron. All right. So many new materials. Uh, this. Yeah, this is no way forward. All right. Let's see where the. Uh, the elevator takes us then. And that should be about it for the ice caves as well, I think. Oh, the elevator keeps moving while I'm looking at my map. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, that should be it for the ice caves. There's something we can interact with here. Shortcut. But there's also an unexplored path there. And somewhere over here as well. Yeah, I mean, we definitely have to go through like this entire level again. Mm, we will. But for now... Let's just see where this spits us out, and after that, it might be time to finally go back to Seer. Uh, oh, here we are. Okay, we could... Wait, is this where we... Ah, this is where we first entered the ice caves. Gotcha. Okay. Well, uh, this elevator that we have to take leads us to a safe point anyway, so let's immediately... Let's just slide back down. Uh, use the elevator that takes us to Seer, rest real quick, and then actually go to Seer, you know? <laughs> uh, oh, god damn it. God damn it, that's not what I meant to slow, but whatever. Yeah, you know, I, I don't care enough about you. Bye! It's so cool that he does this move when you try to, when you're in combat and try to sheath your lightsaber. But also sometimes I just want to sheath my lightsaber. <laughs> Alright then. Oh yeah, this is the world's longest elevator ride, isn't it? I'm kind of missing the elevator music though. Can you imagine like some... Some like... <laughs> elevator music version of the Star Wars Cantina song? Man, lightsabers are cool. I like Calcastus's with because it has that little like guard going along the blade, you know, making it a little longer almost. Alright, anyway, let's meditate. Pressing the wrong button. Rest, get a little bit of health back, and let's get going. Finally, finally leave Zepho. Next up is Kashyyyk. That's gonna be pretty cool. Because we get to meet Wookiees. God fucking little shit. God damn. Just get caught in their attacks. Oh, Cal, that's... we've got a walker firing on us and our weapons are down. Is that him? 
Tell him he better get his butt. Hold on, I'm on my way. I don't like this. Okay. Oh, great. Now. I think I can knock those back at him. Okay. Oh, I tried to dodge that. Okay, goddamn it. I need to be a bit closer. Well, that didn't work at all. Let me focus. Let me focus. Yes, nice. It does work. Oh my god! Oh, we got him. God damn, ATST defeated. Yeah, man, that worked. Oh, hey! <laughs> The pilot got out. That's so cool. Uh, let me see. Wait, tactical guide. Empire. Where's the ATST? Ah, uh, here it is. It is susceptible to sabotage of its own grenades and missiles. Legs are vulnerable. Yeah. The all terrain scout transport ATST, also known as a scout walker, is a lightweight bipedal two person transport deployed for ground force support in the Galactic Empire. Jesus Christ, that was a sentence. They were often used for swift reconnaissance and targeting smaller threats that evaded the larger AT-ATs or ADATs. Equi equipped with chin-mounted medium blaster cannons, capable of uh, firing at a range of two clicks, as well as side cannons armed with rockets and concussion grenades, targeting enemy vehicles and ground troops at close range. Yeah, well, we fucked him up. I mean, he, he did a lot of damage to us as well, but, you know, we... We fucked him up. Which is actually really, really impressive because this is an ATST. You know, like this is. A, you have to think of it. This is a tank. This is still a tank. This is an actual, literal, real world. You know, the equivalent, the Star Wars equivalent of a tank. And we just. fucked him up. Okay. Ooh, might be time to get... See? Th that's what I mean. Like, could you have imagined Cal being able to take out an ATST at the beginning of this journey? We just fucking did it. We're getting strong. Nice work out there, kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> just tell me that this visit wasn't for nothing. I found the tomb of a Zepho Sage. They definitely used the Force. An advanced civilization of force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zeppo journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Kashyyyk? I, look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. Then we better get ready for a fight. <laughs> it's cool to see him like this as well. His attitude's changed, Cal. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? I mean, with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. Haven't gotten myself killed yet. Rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Well, why'd you choose to stop using the Force? When the purge started, and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings, but they caught me. And they tortured me. They wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about 
Cordova. And where he went. But you escaped. No. It was a prison riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. But they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. But that's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. Whoa. All right. Before we do anything, let me plant the seeds. The seeds of revolution. New seed planted. Hey. Two, actually. Can we pet other oh, Rio? Yeah, we have the Kalpi from Bagano. Royal Fuzz, Fluzz, and Gillipod. All right. Um. Make yeah, sure let's talk to people. Give me a minute. I'm siphoning Imperial data. Are you? To me, it kind of looks like you're just standing there being an NPC, but yeah, all right, sure. Uh, hmm. Uh-huh. Huh. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm great. Just enjoying some peace and quiet. Okay. Uh, let's not go to Kashyyyk just yet. I mean, what, did, we didn't leave yet. <laughs> We're not in space yet. <laughs> Shouldn't we be, considering you said that they know where we are and they sent an ATST after you? Yeah, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Let's just take our time, sit down, meditate, save the game. Do we have a skill point? No. I didn't even need to rest, but that's yeah, fine. And let's see what we can what we can do with our lightsaber. Actually, I don't know if I want to change it just yet, but it might be time. The like, color is gonna stay the same. Uh, emitter. I mean, this emitter is cool too. It's premium content, but who gives a fuck? Umbrian campaign, but I, I kind of want to keep the emitter, uh, the Jaro Topal one, because it's just you know, the, like Cal's master, and also it does look pretty much the best. Uh, let's see what Dudu and Resolve one and Eno Cordova. I mean, these emitters are cool too. This one especially, you know, Eno Cordova, but it's fine. Just look around, Valor and Wisdom, we looked at last time. Duty and Resolve 1, and Duty and Resolve 2. Oh, Duty and Resolve 2 can probably be really cool, because it's like wrapped and everything. What about the sleeves? What sleeves do we have, Jared Paul? This campaign... <laughs> I love that the sleeves are still... still look broken. <laughs> Even if you get new ones. Valor and Wisdom. And Dude and Resolve. See, it's also wrapped. Uh, maybe we can actually get, because this looks a little cleaner, almost, the Umbran Campaign. We can get that sleeve, because, you know, it's still the same style, but this one just looks a little blacker and all that, and it's still destroyed. I don't know, it kind of looks cool. Now, we have a bunch of materials, so let's see. This was the standard material. We can just have it golden, or Umbaran, which we currently have, which looks cool. Copper. Oh yeah, there was still just like really like matte white. I remember. I like like I like it having a metallic look. Osmeridium. Oh, oh. Cerakote is pretty cool as well. Oh, I remember it's uh, Slivian iron. I think I had. I think I used that a lot. Um. Before. Like, in my previous playthroughs. Or maybe there was a different one which looked almost rose gold, you know? I like that. But this is cool too, but it's a bit too shiny. Um, we can go with... Sirico. Why not? Yeah, nice. Looks a little, a little darker now, I guess, but... But let me... Let, let's get... Let me step out of the Mantis real quick. And then we can take a look at the, uh, we can take a look at the lightsaber. You know, see what's going on, see what's going down. Actually see it in the light. 
It looks really dark, doesn't it? Though it does look kind of cool, I think I'm going to change the material back. But the, the, the grip can stay the same. But I'm going to change the material back to what we had before, the Umbaran one, I think. Let's see about ponchos. Which one would fit Kashyyyk? Maybe this one? Maybe with, like, a different outfit? Like, maybe the Guardian outfit? I mean, this doesn't look bad at all. Let me do some testing. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna do the outfit and all that in between episodes. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Because that is gonna be the end for this episode. We finally got to see that fucking starfighter that's making these sounds constantly. It's a TIE fighter, I think. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you all next time. Hope he doesn't.